After watching the seventh episode of Onimai, were you wondering what was actually written on this bag? Or if you missed anything that were lost in the translation between the Japanese audio and the English subtitles? Well, in this video, I'll be talking about some nuances about the Japanese language and culture that appeared in this episode. As implied in this episode, the nickname Momijiro that was given to Momiji by Asahi when they were younger convey an image of a man. Jiro is pretty common to find in more traditional names for a guy. Its literal sense is of the next son, the second child of a family. Since having that in a name makes it easily associated with men from the past, it can easily give the image of someone mainly like a samurai or a warrior. We also got the family name of Mio, Murosaki. It's written as Room and K in a geographic sense. The term that Mahiro used to refer to the two other guys as a fan was Niwaka. The Japanese word normally just means sudden, like Niwaka Ami when talking about a sudden rain. But in 2019, the expression Niwaka fan to talk about someone who suddenly became fan of something seemingly out of nowhere was starting to become a popular thing to say and could be traced back to an important race in fans of rugby with the 2019 World Cup being hosted in Japan. The same year, the expression was also nominated for the new and popular World Award of the yearly contest held by Yukan. When Kaede agrees to teach Mahido and Momiji how to make cookies, she uses the expression tetori ashitori, which means that she will teach them attentively with great attention to detail. Its literal sense comes from holding and holding feet, to convey the image of a teacher or parent guiding someone to properly teach them how to do something. For those that didn't know, the game mentioned in this episode, Lo Sukwe, is in reference to the abbreviation Dolakwe of the really popular RPG series, especially in Japan, of Dragon Quest, that was initially known as Dragon Warrior in North America. And Gere Gere, which was translated into Percy, is directly one of the nicknames that you could give to a great saber cat, Killer Panther in Japanese that goes back to the Dragon Quest V, released in 1992. The reason that it was written this on the back of this scene was from reversing the word flower to mimic the similar thing in Japanese where it was written walafu instead of fulawa. It's also from a real product of pastry flour sold in Japan. That's all I had for this episode. And you know what to do if you want me to continue covering this anime.